Welcome one and all to part 2 of episode 29. Ladies and gents, today we are entering into the Matrix yet again. To find out what's up with the, digi with the Digipedia. Doesn't seem like there's any problem on the main page. I'll go check so uh, out some of the problem pages then. Takayaki is Osaka's soul food. They're small and round, and they look really purdy. Real purdy. I don't know what purdy means. I'll look it up and probably display it on the screen for... Uh, for international viewers, I think. Most of you are, like, from America, but... Or Canada, at least the, that general vicinity. But, yeah. Maybe someone is as uneducated as me. It's best when the the octopus in the middle is huge. There's a diff different type of takoyaki where you dunk it in a broth. Y'all know about that. Ah, uh, so <laughs> they are doing like a southern accent or something. Comedy is at the, the heart of Osaka. Yeah, it's right at the core or its soul. Or maybe that's supposed to be soul. Arr, su I suggest and suggest y'all try to husband wife comic duo Jimon Babamon. Y'all be sure to come see see him at least once in Osaka's little theaters. Sorry, I can't do a southern accent. <laughs> this isn't just in Kansai dialect. Dialect. It's all pretty subjectively written too. I wonder if I can connect them to the edit log page. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, we get main character lore. I don't have any siblings, it's just me and mom. Right now I live alone though. Yeah, at Kyoko's office. I wonder if she has like a cardboard box for us or something like that. Hmm, okay, we can only go here and nowhere else. And there's a Tentomo, I think its name was. Okay, but first, as always, get ready for treasure. And probably some random battles somewhere soon. Wait, was there something down here? Mm. Oh, Woodmon! We haven't seen those in the wild, I think. But we need the vaccine type, so let's change. Cubimon to Evermon and Galgamon to Unimon. Go. And just auto him. Yeah, nothing to see here. Moving on. Did I accidentally go the right way? I don't remember where... Oh wait, there is a treasure chest here. That is a noise guard. Damn! It's the regular form of Kabuterimon or something, I think it was called. Okay, first of all, let's... Oh wait. I wanted to read its name. No, it's Kuvagamon. Hmm. Should I talk to the quest person or take a look around once more? Let's just take a quick look and see whether there is something here. And there is. 
So I can't talk to the quest person just yet. Oh, there's one here as well. I just hope the quest person doesn't say, Oh, could you please kill... Kill a bunch of Woodmon for me? Thank you. That would be, would be bad, but so far we haven't had quests of that type, I think. I mean, the one with all the Gaumons comes to mind in the boxing club. I don't know if you remember. So, let's look and see what we have here. Stun barrier. Oh, 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 wait. Before I forget, I think we got a memory up. Yes. Let's just use that. Hmm. So, we have one more chest, and it should be... Right over there, is there a shiny? No, there is not. And there's another one behind the level 4 security wall. Damn, this place is stacked. Hmm. Well, let's get this one first. All these barriers means we have at least some sort of of variability of leeway when we when we start encountering bosses that actually kill us so we can modify our strategy Tentamon huh what you uh, what you want there young man ah ah the am I the one who made them their edits on Digipedia did you happen to find one of my articles there Interesting, don't you think? What? You're saying there was a, there was that there's subjective information in that article is written in Kansai dialect. In Kansai dialect is hard to understand. Well, you have misunderstood then. Kansai dialect is the lingua franca of the world. It's real easy to understand, I say. Listen, I don't want to hear nothing about no articles, you understand? You're just pissing me off with all that here talk about my writing style. Did I do a good job? I don't know. As we've seen with Jimmy Cam, accents are not my forte. Okay, let's virus it up here. No, no, not virus. Let's data it up. Uh, another thing that I, I noticed during editing, isn't it ironic? that Datamon is a virus type. Like, the, the Digimon that literally has data in its name is not a data type. Anyways, please go die. I won't even give you the respect of choosing my attacks. Yep, that was a joke. Sorry, it's just uh, that what you said really got to me. This ain't just an interesting research article. It should be easy to read and understand. Make a dictionary, that's the most important thing, is professionalism. Please, give it some thought. Some thought. Okay, dictionary administrator. Shh, keep your voice down. Don't just yell out, hey! Mr. Administrator, seriously. But what I wanted to say is that the block on the page with Kansai dialects have been removed and I've been correcting the pages bit by bit. You really did an excellent job, you have my heartfelt thanks. Indeed, I just received an email from that fellow from Kansai just now. I'll read it to you. I'm sorry for all that there trouble I've caused you. That there detective opened my eyes about it all. I'd like to thank you kindly for that. Now I'm gonna start my own blog, promote Mosaka. And I'm feeling pretty excited about it. Ah, Purdy is pretty. Okay. As you can see... Uh, oh no, as you can see, he's quite a weird guy. Okay, that was it. I thought there was more to it. In that case, I'll see you in the... Memory zone. I want to get that last chest. See you in a sec.
Well, ladies and gents, I just took a look around and the memory zone does not actually allow us to return to that treasure chest and that dungeon. It only has some of those mazes. Weird. So please let me know if there was something of critical importance there. In that case, I'll probably have to reload and go get it, because I, I don't know how to get it otherwise. Or maybe it'll only unlock in the, that dungeon in the memory zone after a hand in the quests. But anyways, there is a Betamon here that is max level. So we have a choice to make, and my choice is this, because it's the only one we have available that we don't know yet. Betamon Digirolls to... A consolation prize. Okay. Has some similarities to e uh, Airdramon, including its eel-like body for a snake, for a serpent. Hmm. I mean, it's perfectly serviceable, but... I, I, I just can't imagine anyone saying, Oh, Seedramon, that's my favorite Digimon, right there. I mean, it's just so... So nothing, I don't know. Doesn't really tell me anything. Hmm. Okay, meet you back at Kyoko's and I'll hand in the quest. Here it is, and we get an electric symbol, whatever that is. Arara, Digipedia? Yeah, of course I know about it. Actually, how did you uh, go this long without hearing about it? I'm surprised, considering your age. God damn it! I was just there. Hawkmon, Hawkmon is max level. Seems there's some sketchy poster on the second floor of the Broadway. Have you seen it? No, I have not. Anyways, I think it's time for a change in t-shirts. So, yeah, let's, let's just take this. Whoa, what's this? Bummer candy? Dumber candy? No, summer camp. Summer camp, okay. Oh, yeah, it says it right in there. Summer camp t-shirt. Should've just looked to the right. Hmm. A bit generic, but okay. So, on to Hawkmon. Here it is, and let's just take the only one we don't know yet. Hogmon Digivolt to... Hopefully something cool, hopefully something cool. Oh, yeah, nice. Aquilamon. Ah, uh, Aquila is the... is the eagle of victory, right? It's the symbol of the Roman Empire. Like what you always see on their banners and their stand standards and something like that. Yeah, Aquilamon. Okay, I like it. And it's definitely Hawkmon's natural digivolution, since the color scheme is the same, but yeah. The devil horns are a nice touch. Without it, it would be fine, but it would be a little bit too generic. But with them, yeah, it has, it has its own identity, if you know what I mean. Unlike Seed Ramon. Okay, I, I hope that was it. Yeah, seems to be that way. Okay, back on track. Second floor, creepy posters. Let's head on up. Okay, where or oh, where could they be? Oh, right here. That was fast. And you won't talk to me. Interested guy. Ah, I see, that sign caught your attention, too. Question mark? The Ultra Super True Puppet. It's quite the intriguing name, that's for sure. Please don't tell me it's a sex doll. 
Like the name says, it's an exquisitely crafted doll made to look just like a real human being that you can buy online. Or so I hear, it's my only chance to ever touch a woman. So calling it super and ultra true is a tad redundant. They could have gotten the point across without using both terms. It's not actually that expensive. I'm thinking of saving up my money and buying one myself. And it's made by Jorogumo Co Limited. A nice snappy name for a company. Although there's a bit of a sketchy vibe to it too. Anyway, I wonder who the model behind this doll is too, come to think of it. Hey, a case has come in from me at the Inoden Occult Research Club. Yay! The Occult Research Club, we'll see them again. Drop by the office when you can, alright? I love that they are recurring characters. Okay, in that case, I'll probably have to stop the recording for just a second and <laughs> research what their voices actually were. Well, let's just look and see how many we actually encounter. I said actually too many times, didn't I? Occult Research Club's May Broadway. Have we heard of super ultra true puppets? We ply our trade here. Investigation Stato. Okay, they are here. Be right back, I'll just research the voices real quick. Okay, I got their voices refreshed in my brain again. So May was like a less squeaky Nokia. Detective Kurumi, you have to help us. You have to help us, please. And Lily was really, like, low energy. May, calm down. I'm sure she'll help us. Ara, ara. Tell me what's going on. What's wrong? Given that this is business from the Occult Club, I take it. We've got another supernatural case on our hands. Yeah, I mean, I mean, no. Probably. I don't think this has anything to do with the occult this time. Oh? Then why all the big fuss? Well, there are apparently these dolls being sold on the internet that look just like me and me. Ew! That's so wrong! I think those dolls are called Super Hyper... Ultra lookalikes or something like that? Question mark? You must be referring to the super ultra true puppets. I've heard rumors about them. Alright, tell me more. I mean, I can see it for Lily. She's dressed like a fetish like 24-7, but... For May as well? I mean, I can kind of see the resemblance to Velma. <laughs> so yeah, she's got that going for her. These dolls, their faces, their bodies, everything from top to bottom looks just like us. They're so accurate, it's creepy. And to make matters worse, they're being sold real cheap. You'd think they could go for at least a little more money on the market. Oh, so for her, the, the problem is, uh, is that it's a blow to her self-esteem. Uh, that's not really the problem here. You get that, right? But it still sucks. Uh, it makes me feel like they see me as some kind of cheap piece of junk. No, no, you should have seen the otaku salivator salivate over your dolls, so... I mean, I find it weird too that y your dolls cost several thousand yen more than mine, but... Wait, so you do care about the price after all? Hehe! <laughs> uh... Revealed. I said it's not important. Anyways, these dolls that look just like us are uh, being bought by otaku all over the place. 
And when I think about what those guys are probably doing with uh, two of them, it's just, it just really creeps me out. Hmm, I wonder. This reminds me of another incident. I wonder if this is connected to that. Hmm, but shouldn't this just be handed to the police? I mean, this is clearly a case of identity theft. Or no, not identity theft, but like... A trademark dispute. You own the rights to your own likeness, right? Uh, come, uh, you know, this reminds me of another incident. I wonder if it's connected to that. Like, what kind of incident? There's a real dicey looking service out there that's called the Perfect Girl Project. What kind of things are you into, Kyoko? You can use it to get a living doll made in the image of your ideal girl and live the life you've always dreamed of. But the police have been hearing about owners of these dolls. Ha no. But the police have been hearing about how owners of these dolls are going missing. I was just discussing it with Detective Matayoshi. Super Ultra 2 puppets and living dolls made in the images of people. It's dream girls? Oh, so that means you have some admirers, May. I guess they sound like they could be related, but... Are you sure there's really a connection? That's the tough part to prove. Th to make dolls that look similar to how you two really are. It'd take having pretty specific data on your bodies. I imagine getting your hands on something like that isn't exactly easy. Actually, I have an idea on how they might have managed to pull it off. There's an LDC machine in an arcade in Akihabara that I think might have been suspicious. LDC? You don't mean lustful dream chicks, don't you? They cer they're certainly not for subtlety if that's the case. Kyoko, what kind of things are you into? And to think of it, what kind of things are Mei and Lily into, for that matter? No, no, not that. I mean Living Doll Club, that's what LDC stands for. Right, it's a machine that scans all of your body and makes a 3D printed figurine of it. Our data could have somehow been leaked out of that, I guess. Hmm, it definitely can't be, can't be denied the possibility. Then our next step is clear. We need to head straight to Akihabara and gather info on this living doll club machine. I liked my version better though. That'll be your job, Hecto. As for me, I'll see if I can dig up anything else regarding the perfect girl project. Okay. We got a keyword. And some fluff dialogue from Bertramon. But this will have to wait until the next episode because of all the major cuts. I'm already way over now, but I think it should still come out to like a sizable 30 minute episode for you, ladies and gents. If not, I apologize and I hope you <laughs> won't have a grudge and see me in the next one. Bye-bye, I guess.